what would you share with others? So we're just gonna mm -hmm. take it bit by bit. Okay. And I'm gonna just get curious with you because you know that's what I love. So let's just get started. If you can please just introduce yourself to our folks. Just tell us who you are and what you do and why you decided to hire a health coach. Well, I am Cheryl Shaw. Mm -hmm. I am a realtor in the Metro DC area, licensed in DC, Virginia, and Maryland. Mm -hmm. And um, I, this has been a rough year. It's been mm -hmm. a rough year for everybody, I think, mm -hmm. in some ways, but I had just come off of my second breast cancer diagnosis mm -hmm. through chemo last year, and I got to the point where I said I needed to invest in me mm -hmm. and try to find balance in my life. Yes. So Ooh, you're saying all my words. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it did to me. Like, and just be I conscious that that you know it was a personal investment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Finally. Yes. Um, and sometimes it takes you know, going through something in life for you to really realize that. And I think for me, that's what it was. It was mm -hmm. like, I, you know, going through the health challenges that I did go through for the second time. It's like, okay, pause, Cheryl. Yeah. You know, focus on you. Yes. And, and that's, that's the reason. Focus on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. let's take it from there. Okay. So Cheryl, do you recall early on in our sessions, mm -hmm. we got very rooted in your why. Like why now at this point in your life? We've knew we've known each other before we started this journey together in right. other capacities. So for you to reach out and say, I, I the guidance, the coach, the accountability. So talk a little bit about kind of what rooted you and kept you focused, your anchor. What kept you focused oh, okay. on that why throughout your 90 days? I was gonna say my, my anchor was like, oh, I know she's going to call me every Monday. <laughs> It was more than that. Accountability, I guess. And, and I think I talked to you about that, is that I'm the type of person who needs to be held accountable, or I, or someone I've committed to something, and that person is going to be depending upon me. Yeah. So it was the perfect setup. Um, but my anchor was my family, and actually a photo that I have at my home that has my granddaughter mm -hmm. in it with me. Yeah. Uh, when she was turning two. Yeah. And every time I would go through this, you know, iffy stage, you know, turning to that and realizing that I'm doing this because I want to be here longer yes. for her and yes. other members of my family, but especially my granddaughter. Mm. So that, you know, when you, I think that was the first session where you Very said, find something yes. that was, it's there in my, my home, and I never thought of it in that way. Yeah. But even now, I kind of mm. use that as like, oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So that's kind of where my anchor is right wow. now. How wonderful. So talk a little bit about, oh, and it's, and people, you know, and I want people to know when they do coach with me, when that anchor can be very difficult, believe it or not, in that first session for people to develop. But the fact that you, on that session, you knew, and I remember you telling me it was, above your fireplace, I believe, somewhere in a space that is very visible. Mm -hmm. And for you to decide right then and there, and every time for you to go back to that, because once a week is when we meet. It's all that special work that happens in between. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a beautiful anchor. <laughs> um, let me ask you this. Talk a little bit about maybe expectations you had going into this, and maybe some pleasant surprises, some, some outcomes, or something of this that you we're just surprised about within yourself or just a mindset, just something that pleasantly surprised you. Gosh, going into it, I it's I didn't know what to expect, really. Okay. Um, because it like I said, it was the first time that I've actually had coaching. And I had I think I reached out to you because I like follow you on social media. So <laughs> it's like the peace and the calm that you present in your every day is like, okay, I want, I want some of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got some for you, girl. <laughs> so that was kind of like, okay, uh -huh. maybe if I do the coaching, I'll just kind of adopt that in my mm -hmm. life. And so maybe that was the expectation. Mm -hmm. And I think part of the surprise to, part of the surprises is I already have that, 
I just needed to acknowledge it yes. and allow it mm. because I'm so into everything else yeah. that it's caused me to pause and reflect of what's already in me yes. and allowing that to be a priority. Mm. So that's kind of what has happened. Yeah. Of, you know, I think lots of folks just get into the constant doing, 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 and not pausing, and mm -hmm. you forced that mm -hmm. in our sessions, yeah. and now in my own life as I move forward, it's mm -hmm. part of, you know, kind of my flow. I love yeah. it. So, oh, I love yeah. it. And that, that's a beautiful transition, Cheryl. I mean, can you share a specific new habit or routine that you have just made a part of you now, and it's something you don't even... It might have early on in our journey felt like this is going to be hard to accomplish or will I be able to stick to this? Yeah. But now it's just, it's who you are. You just flow in this new habit or routine. Can you speak to something that stands out for you? I think the part where I have to get out in nature. Mm. It's, um, it's something that I've always said I need to do, need to do, need to do. Yeah. And, and, and when we started the coaching, it was on my list of things that I wanted to adapt or mm -hmm. adopt as part of my lifestyle. Yep. So now um, I do it and I do it unconsciously. Um, and sometimes to the point where, gosh, I haven't gotten out mm. to walk. Oh, I love and it. so I have placed that as, I wouldn't even say it's a priority, it's just a natural thing. Mm, you it's know? becoming who you are. Yeah, it's, it's um, how do you feel after? I feel great after mm -hmm. because it's the time where I, I disconnect. Yes. And, you know, I'll spend a couple hours walking or, you know, even an hour um, just mm -hmm. walking and turning off all the phones but putting in my headphones, you know, to listen to some music. Yeah. And it's just an opportunity to just spend that time. Um, and now my body, I think, has adjusted to w needing that. Mm -hmm. And so I am consciously, you know, oh, I have a you know three hour block. Let me go somewhere and walk. Oh. And so I think that that's been a blessing that's kind of come through uh, for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and and the um, ordering the food. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> ordering the food. What? Tell me, please. Well, Share more. <laughs> Perspective of getting time getting back time because back. you're ordering. Yep. Yeah, I thought of it more as a chore because because it's cooking is whatever. But I, I now, it again, it's it's a part of my routine. I, I comes every. I have a box that comes on Friday and I have a box that comes on Monday and I'm set and yeah. I don't have to go to the grocery. Well, I do every once in a while, but yeah. Um, but it's it's good food too. Yes. It's it's quality and it's you know organic and it's nutritious. So I'm not just randomly going to the store and picking up stuff and hoping I can make a meal out of it. Yes. You know, so that's Thoughtful that's another piece. Intentional. Yeah. So I'll do that for ever. Oh, I love I it. Think. Cheryl. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, how wonderful. So, <clears throat> um, is there something that stood out? Because we had 12 sessions together. We covered. Obviously, it was very tailored to you and your goals. But there were certain topics that would come up from um, how to learn to pull away from technology and mm -hmm. get that personal time back, or uh, fear-based thinking, or self-sabotage. From our journey together in our 90 days, is there a session or a topic or something that resonated with you that helped you kind of shift or think differently about something? Mm -hmm. I think you just brought it up, it's the, uh, the technology. Mm -hmm. Because we're so consumed with all the stuff that's around us all the time and I remember sharing that I sleep with my phone you know and it's like the first thing I grab when yeah. I get up and I start cool. yeah and um, knowing that's not good mm -hmm. <laughs> and you you never said it's not good yeah. but um, you know the 
describing another way to manage it mm -hmm. so it doesn't manage you. Yes. You know? Oh, yes. So that, um, I think that was key for me. Yeah. Because you're in my brain constantly now. Oh. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Yeah, I hope. I don't mind you saying that too annoying. I hope it's, I hope it's the mantras and all the phrases and all the little goofy laughter. I hope it's all that in there. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, I mean, because if I even see, you know, feel myself like mm -hmm. getting away from the, you know, having a phone with me too much, I'm like, you know, no, put that down, girl. Yeah. You know, it, it's okay. That's and, the pause. Yeah, and then pausing. Yeah. But that's you, that's the work. We were one day a week, all that work and the thoughtfulness, and it's like once the awareness is there, mm -hmm. the ball is in your court. Right. What would you share with someone? And this is kind of our final question. Is you just? I mean, I'm so grateful for you doing this, Cheryl. So oh, thank absolutely. You. Somebody that had never had a coach, just like you, but they're still questioning: Is this? Would this be worth it? Would this be the worth the time and the investment and the the follow through? Mm -hmm. What would you share with them for them to consider getting this done and hiring me as their coach? What would you say? I think. Um, I would share with them that are, you know, to reflect, are you worth it? Mm. Because mm -mm -mm. it is, it's investing in you and we don't prioritize ourselves. Yeah. And this is a way of making you a priority. Yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't hurt. Mm. <laughs> but um, especially, you know, in dealing with a coach like you who you don't judge mm. there's no judgment there can't be I'm not in curiosity yeah I mean and it's a, a time dedicated where you allow that person to be their authentic self mm. but then challenge them to think of how they can be better mm. in their own way Ooh. you know and, and not forcing anything it's not like you're going to the gym and you gotta do yeah. X number of reps and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's a time for reflection, reflecting, and then resetting, mm -hmm. so that yes. you know when you go when you finish, and I don't think you're ever finished. Yeah. You you know that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. um, so I would tell folks go go for it. Yeah. Um, we invest a lot of time, energy, and money on stuff. Yeah. We're stuff. <laughs> We're the number one stuff. So, um, yeah, that's that's the advice that I would give to folks. Sure, thank you. It was sure. an honor to be your coach. It was an absolute honor. And I'm just, I stay thank proud. You. I continue you. to stay proud. Well, I, I, you know, the only other thing I would say is your social media and energizing people and sharing with people your lifestyle mm -hmm. is a motivator in and of itself. And so hopefully people will take that and and if, if you're questioning it, tune in. Yeah. Because I'm here for the inspiration. That's maybe. what you could that's what you could be. Yes. That's how your life is. <laughs> you know. So we yeah. all get it from each other and your hard work and discipline and literally living a life of no ceilings professionally is incredibly mm -hmm. inspirational just as a as a young entrepreneur and a woman of color. It's, oh thank I'm you. All, my eyes are